Welcome to the Spendwise Moms channel, your homemaking resource hub. This week I went into the store to get carrots and got sidetracked when I saw lots of really good produce that was marked down. In fact, most of the food I bought this week was produce. I spent $10.17 each for my husband and I for one week, or the equivalent of two weeks for one person. We won't eat just produce all week. I bought a lot of meat in the past, at least half of which is still in my freezer. I also make my own bread, pancakes, waffles, tortillas, etc. And I have some cheese left from a different week that's still in the freezer. I chopped and froze some of the peppers and made applesauce with some of the apples. I will also chop and freeze the onions, cook and freeze some spinach, juice and freeze some of the grapefruit juice, etc. I always freeze things for the future. That way I have a better balance of different kinds of foods when working on a tight budget. I wanted to talk briefly to those people who live far from a store. There are a couple of ideas I had that I would do if I was in that situation. First, buy groceries once a month. You can get things delivered and if you buy food for the month, then you should meet the quota to get free shipping. Next, try growing some of your own food. In World War II, they did this because canned foods were rationed. By growing their own food, they were able to have plenty of fresh food to eat. Next, work with your neighbors. They are in the same situation that you are in. Maybe you can go to the store together and split the price of gas, or you can offer to pay for the gas if they let you tag along. Maybe you can split some foods if you can't eat a whole head of lettuce yourself or a big bag of beans. Sometimes when you buy larger packages, you can get better prices. Last, take advantage of times when you are in an area that sells food. And finally, eat the food that you have and don't waste food. Thanks for watching this Bendwise Moms channel. Please subscribe for more videos like this.